Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice exponential equation. We have 21 to the power x equals 2 to the power 2x plus 1 multiplied by 5 to the power x. And we're going to be solving for x. Now, this problem is from Higher Algebra by Hall and Knight. If I don't forget, I'm going to try to share the name of the book and a possible link. There's probably some used copies on Amazon. Hopefully you can find one. It's a great book, full of beautiful problems, and I just happened to find a copy, uh, a physical copy. Anyways, so let's go ahead and see how we can solve this problem. We have, the issue here is, we have different bases. Otherwise, we could try to put these together, right? 21 and 2 and 5. 21 is 3 times 7, which is a product of two primes, and 2 and 5 are different primes. So there's they don't have anything in common. So what do you do in these kinds of cases, right? You kind of look for some easy solutions, such as maybe uh, you can set uh, x equal to 0. That might work, not necessarily guaranteed, but it's worth a try. So for example, if x is 0, as you know, we get something to the power 0 is 1, right? What about 0 to the power 0? I know a lot of people think, oh, it's undefined, indeterminate, whatever, blah, blah. Wait, wait a minute. I already made a video, you can go ahead and check it out. Zero to the power zero, should I not spoil it maybe for people who are not familiar? Anyways, go ahead and check it out. So I'll try to share the card here somewhere and maybe somewhere in the description. So if x is zero, we get 21 to the power zero, which is, let me just write it down. And then here, if you replace x with zero, you get two to the power one times five to the power zero. Is this true? We don't know if it is, right? This is 1, and this is 2 times 1, which is 2. So they're not equal. Too bad. x equals 0 didn't work, but we still tried. And in some cases, it does. So it's worth, definitely worth trying. What else can we do? Now, x equals 0 didn't work. And you know why I wanted to try x equals 0? Because I have x's on both sides. If we didn't have this, which would be nice, right? It would be over... over or less simplified, or simplification, whatever. Uh, but we have that, so that's why I tried it. What about making this zero? Is that gonna work? Mm, I don't think so. Again, 21 and five have nothing in common. They're not related. They're not powers of each other, so on and so forth. So we gotta, we gotta do something dramatically different. And that thing is using logarithms. Yay. Absolutely. Why not, right? Because when you do logs, you're going to get rid of all the exponents. And notice that here, the exponents are variables, right? You want to bring them down because that's the only way to solve it. Well, probably, right? So let's go ahead and see what we can do. I can go ahead and log. By the way, which base are you going to use? Base 21, base 2, base 5, base 3? Doesn't matter. Why don't we just use base 10, uh, which is log, L-O-G, but if you want, you can also use ln. Actually, I like the ln better, but let's just use log this time. And again, log A means log A with base 10. Don't forget that, okay? That's how I define it. I know some people use log for natural log, which is sad, unfortunately, but I use it for base 10. So let's go ahead and log both sides and see what happens. It's kind of like, you know, We'll, we'll find out. It doesn't necessarily mean that this is going to work, but it's just an attempt, you know? Notice that on the right-hand side, we have a product. So you have to log the product. And what happens if you log a product formula? Log AB is equal to log A plus log B. Properties of logarithms, right? Well, this pen doesn't seem right to me. Does it seem right to you? Uh, maybe I should just change it a little bit here. Okay, here we go. Now, so that's how we can deal with the products. Let's go ahead and start here. Log, I think this feels better, 21 to the power x. And this one, uh, if you have the log of a product like, like here, we can split it up into log 2 to the power 2x plus 1 plus log 5 to the power x. The next property we're going to use is if you have log a to the power x, this x, you can basically move to the front, x log a. Now, there's a couple of ways to prove this using exponentials, rules for exponentials. If x is a positive integer, 
it's easier to prove because think about it. Log a squared, for example, is log a times a. And that is log a plus log a from the uh, sum property. And this is just 2 log a, which means you just move the 2 to the front. Of course, this doesn't work for 1 half or other ones, but this is a way to prove for positive integers at least, right? For general, we have, uh, we can use the properties of logarithms. But anyways, this is what we get from here. Let's go ahead and uh, see how we can bring these down. This first part is going to give us x times log 21. And then the second one is going to bring down the 2x plus 1. We're going to multiply it by log 2. And then this one, we're going to bring the x to the front. It's going to give us x log 5. Now, this might look like not solvable to you at this point, but don't worry about it. We're going to find out. And if it doesn't work, we'll go back and try something else, right? That's the spirit. Okay. Now, here we have some x terms, and we have an x here, and we have an x here. So it might be a good idea to uh, put those together so that we can factor out the x. So for that purpose, first, I'm going to go ahead and distribute this. I'm going to go ahead and distribute it to x log 2. We could also write it differently. Plus log 2 plus x log 5. Notice that this is the only term that does not contain an x, right? So we, we're going to leave it on the right-hand side and bring everything else to the left, so we're gonna get x log 21 minus two, um, two x log two, I'm gonna take care of that later, I'm gonna factor out the x, minus x log five equals log two. Awesome. Now, x is a common factor, so let's go ahead and factor it out. We get log 21 minus two log two, the x just, you know, goes outside, and minus log five, and that is equal to log 2. Beautiful. Because we're about to get x by itself. Isn't that amazing? We're going to go ahead and divide both sides by this. And x will be from here log 2 all over log 21 minus 2 log 2 minus log 5. Great. So that gives us the value of x, but kind of looks complicated, right? Well, in terms of all the other logs, and that's fine because log 2, log 21, and all the other ones are constants. So now we found the value of x. And guess what? We only found one value, which means there is only one solution. But wait a minute. This is not the end of it, right? Because we're still going to look at it from another perspective. I forgot to name the first one, the first solution, but we can always do that, right? Go back in time and call this first solution or first method. And this is going to be our second method. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method now, okay? Ready? Let me rewrite the original problem. 21 to the power x equals 2 to the power 2x plus 1 times 5 to the power x. Again, this problem is from higher algebra but by whole and night. It's a beautiful problem. It's not too hard. It's not too easy. It's really cool. Now, the next thing we're going to do is, since we already use logs, we're not, we shouldn't be using them anymore, right? Something different. So when you think about a problem like this, and you know, it's kind of funny, sometimes I make mistakes and I have to go back and correct them or some methods don't work because you know what? Because I don't have a script, I haven't practiced it and I think it's more natural that, I know some people are gonna be like, you have to practice, you have to have blah, blah. No, 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 not really. I think this is more natural. You get to see the thought process, you get to see my problem solving approach. And let me tell you something, I haven't really thought about this problem before. I'm like, how am I gonna solve it? Let's see what happens, okay? That's the approach. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and split it up because what I'm about to do is actually really cool. Let me show you. First, I'm going to separate them because the second method requires that we bring down all the x's together, but when they are in the exponent. Isn't that cool? Similar approach, but kind of very different at the same time, right? So this one can actually be written as 4 to the power x because this is 2 squared. You got that, right? So we now have 21 to the power x equals 4 to the x times 2 times 5 to the x. And you can definitely, you can definitely uh, do something like this. You can put these together in one way or another, but hey, you can also multiply these together first, right? That'll help you out a little bit. And 4 to the x and 5 to the x is just 20 to the power x, isn't it? Oops, sorry, the phone rang and I was kind of got distracted. Times 2. Now... This would be a good time to divide both sides by 20, 20 to the power x, like this. And guess what? That gives us the x's on the same side, and 
we have a number on the right hand side. Now we know that uh, these two expressions have a common exponent, so we can kind of write it like this. And at this point, we have to use logs, unfortunately. And let's stick to base 10 one more time and see if we can get the same answer. Now we're going to move the x to the front. x times log 21 over 20 is going to be log 2. And we can go ahead and finally divide both sides by log 21 over 20. Now, of course, by using properties of logarithms, I can go ahead and split it up and write this as log 21 minus log 20. But wait a minute. Is that the same thing that we found with the first method? Let's go back and check it out. Uh-oh, that's not the case. But let me tell you, or maybe not tell you, because I want you to find out why these two don't look the same, even though they should be the same. That's left as an exercise for the reader. Don't hate me for that. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and don't forget to check out CyberMath and A plus BI. And bye-bye.